this limit can't be evaluated directly by substitution. If we were to try plugging in x equals 1, we would get 1 cubed minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1. That's 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. It doesn't tell us anything about the limit, so we need to use a different strategy. If you remember important factorizations of polynomials, you may recall that this, a difference of cubes, can be factored, and thus we might be able to cancel out the denominator. So let's factor the numerator, which again is a difference of cubes. So using this well-known factorization for a difference of cubes, noting that in our case, b is 1, we can rewrite the numerator like this, x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. You could check yourself that multiplying those factors together produces x cubed minus 1. Of course, we see now that there is a factor of x minus 1 in the numerator and denominator, and so we can cancel those out, leaving just this quadratic expression behind. So after cancellation, we're left with the limit of x squared plus x plus 1 as x approaches 1, and this can be evaluated directly by substitution. Plugging in x equals 1, we have 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1, so plus 1, and plus 1. So the value of the limit then is 3.